I am Dr. W. V. Gunnari from Kamla Nehru Mahavidyalaya in Nagpur. Today we are discussing some examples of calculation of strike number. Already we have discussed the calculation of strike number in case of uh, diborane, triborane, tetraborane. And today uh, we are discussing the example of pentaborane 11, decaborane 14. These are the examples and how to calculate in these molecules the, uh, how to calculate the strike number. Strike, what is strike number we have seen? Uh, different types of bondings are there in the borane. So yes, T, Y, X are the strike number. And uh, for different uh, higher borings, different strike numbers are there depending upon whether they contain 3 center 2 electron bond, 2 center 2 electron bond and how many BH2 groups are present in the compound on the basis of that, on the basis of strike, we can calculate the strike number in different higher borings. So today's topic is the cluster 1 boron hydride and uh, in this part we are discussing the uh, structure and bonding in case of uh, borings and uh, particularly the calculations of uh, pentaborane 11 and the uh, decaborane 14 and uh, here uh, how to calculate strike number in higher borings that we are discussing in today's part so uh, as we know in case of structure and bonding in pentaborane 11 it is known as pentaborane 11 because 11 are the hydrogens and therefore it is known as 5 borons are there so it is known as pentaborane 11 so on the basis of elemental analysis vapor pressure density method molecular weight determination uh, it is suggested that molecular formula of this compound is a B5H11 commonly known as pentaborane 11 so the structure of B4H10 is a, uh, suggested on the basis of X-ray diffraction studies of this compound and in this case of the compound, 5 boron atoms are arranged in a square pyramidal manner. And therefore, we can say that the geometry of this compound is a slightly distorted octahedron. And 4 boron atoms, that is B1, B2, B3, B4, are equatorial and boron 5 is at the apical of the uh, square. So, there are, uh, so, this is the structure. And uh, what is the formula is B5H11. And in this case, the boron 2 is attached with the boron 1 and boron 3 by bridging hydrogen and the boron 4 is linked with the boron 3 by bridging hydrogen. So in this way the structure is there of this B5H11. Boron 5 is also linked with the boron 1 and boron 4 by 3 center 2 electron bond and in the similar manner B5 is also linked with the boron 2 and boron 3 by 3 center 2 electron bond. So, uh, this is the uh, details about the structure of this B5H11. So, on the basis of um, uh, experimental methods, elemental analysis, vapor pressure, formula is B5H11. And uh, XRD give the detailed uh, structure of this compound. And in this case, uh, 5 boron atoms are arranged square pyramidal manner. So, this is details about the how the bondings are there, what is the structure uh, uh, which is obtained on the basis of XRD. And also, uh, what are the types of bonding and the structure is, uh, is given here. So these are the six point and the seven point is in this structure boron terminal hydrogen bond length is 1.20 angstrom minute and distance between the B5 and B4 is 1.87 angstrom minute and the distance between B5 and B2 is 1.70 and uh, B1 B2 is 1.77 angstrom. So this is the structure is shown here. Uh, this is the structure this is B1. Uh, this is B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. So terminal hydrogens are there. This is BH2 group. This is the another BH2. This is BH2. This is only one terminal. Here is only one terminal. So uh, in this way they arrange. Uh, these four B1, B2, B3, B4 are arranged square. And B5 is at the apical of this uh, structure here. So uh, this is the structure. And in this case, uh, so uh, the different bond length have been suggested uh, in the structure on the, which is obtained on the basis of X-ray diffraction studies. Now in this structure also it is possible to uh, calculate the strike number. Before that we have to tally the electron tally and uh, in B5H11 electron tally is shown here number of electrons electron tally means the total number of electrons which are involved in the bonding framework. In this case, boron 5, 5 borons are there, 11 hydrogens are there, each boron have 3 electrons in the valuation, so 5 into 3, uh, 11 into 1 because atomic number of hydrogen is 1, 
So total after adding this, we get 26 electron in the B5 HN1. And in this case, now detail of the electron involved in the different types of bonding, which are shown here. And uh, in this case, eight uh, bonds are there, eight boron terminal hydrogen, which is two center two electron bond. So two into eight, so 16 electron. There are three boron hydrogen bridge boron, three center two electron bond. That is two into three, six electrons are there. And there are two types of bond of the BBB, three center two electron bond and 2 into 2, 4 electrons. So total is again now 26 electrons. So as here, uh, total number of electrons are, uh, electron involved in the bonding, 26. And also, uh, uh, number of electrons involved in the different types of bondings are also 26. So therefore, we can say that, uh, w, uh, 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 because the electron tally is there, and therefore we can say that, uh, electron tally, according to the WN Lipscomb, uh, proposed topological structure for B5 H11 is a, a tally. So electron tally is there, and uh, uh, Lipscomb topological structure is suggested on the basis of this electron tally, and structure is correct. So this is the structure shown here. This is the topological structure of this B5 H11, and here this is the actual structure which is obtained on the basis of X-ray and other experimental data. Uh, this structure shows the square pyramidal type and this is the uh, Lipscomb structure and uh, topological structure uh, of the B5 H11. So for this structure we can calculate the strike number. Strike number is 3203. What is the S? S is the number of 3 center 2 electron bond. So 3 center 2 electron bonds are there. Uh, how many are there uh, in the structure? Is, this is the structure BH2. So this is one BH2. This is second BH2. This is three BH2. So uh, yes means three center two electron bond. That is boron hydrogen bridge boron. So how many uh, uh, are there? So uh, here. So this is one. This is two and this is three. So yes is equal to three. So yes is three. T is the three center two electron bond of the BB. So there are there are two types of bond. So in this way, B, 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 1, this B, 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 so this is 1, this is second. So two bonds are there of the B, B, B type. So here is 2. And in case of Y, uh, there are, uh, these uh, are the geo, that is the uh, B, B type of bond. In this case, there is no any B, B type of bond, so it is geo. And uh, the 3 is the B, H, 2 unit. This is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So 3 B, H, 2 units are there. So, uh, strike number in this case is 3203. So, strike number is 3203 in case of B5HA1. So, uh, structure and bondings have been shown, and these are the structures suggested. First structure is, uh, uh, is on the basis of X ray diffraction studies and other experimental data. Second is a topological structure of B5HA1. And uh, strike number is calculated and it is found to be. 3203. Similarly, we can uh, discuss the structure and bonding in case of B10H11. This uh, structure of B10H11, which is known as the uh, decaborane, uh, this is uh, decaborane 14. So, here should be a decaborane 14, and uh, here in case of decaborane 14, formula is B10H14. So, elemental analysis. Vapor pressure density method and molecular weight determination suggesting that the molecular formula of decaborane 14 is B10H14. So decaborane is a uh, decaborane 14, commonly known as decaborane 14, and the formula is B10H14. This structure of this uh, uh, decaborane 14 is established on the basis of X ray diffraction studies. So structure is obtained on the basis of X ray diffraction studies. And boron atoms are arranged in a two pentagonal pyramids like. So here two pentagonal pyramids structures they join together. So boron atoms are arranged in two pentagonal pyramid type. And uh, two pentagonal pyramids are joined with each other. And the basal boron B1 and B3 are common to both the pentagon. And uh, the basis of pyramid makes angle of 76 with each other. The boron B4 and boron 5 are apical boron. Every boron is attached with terminal hydrogen 
and B6 is attached with the B5 and B7 by bridge hydrogen which is shown in the structure. Similarly, B9 attached with B8 and B10 by bridging hydrogen. So, uh, sixth point is boron B4, that is, uh, fourth boron is attached with B1 and B3 by 3 center to electron bond. Similarly, boron B2, second boron B2 is attached with B1 and B3 by 3 center to electron bond. So, this is uh, details about the structure of B10 H14. And electron, uh, seventh point is structure of B10 H14 is related to the icosahedral structure of crystalline boron. So the structure suggested for B10 H14 is related to the structure of crystalline boron. And now in this case also there is an electron tally. As a total number of electrons involved in the bonding frameworks are equal to 10 borons are there plus 14 hydrogens are there. So 10 into 3, 14 into 1. Total 44 electrons are there in the bonding framework. And different types of bondings are there in the structure. Details of electrons involved in the different types of bondings are there are 10 boron terminal hydrogen, 2 center 2 electron bonds are there, therefore 2 into 10, 20 electrons are there. There are two bonds of the BB type, 2 center 2 electron bond, 2 into 2, 4 electrons. And there are 4 BHB B bonds are there, 3 center 2 electron bond, and this is 2 into 4, 8 electrons are there. And there are 4 B, B, B type of 3 center 2 electron bond, that is 2 into 4, 8 electrons are there. And there are 2 types of B, B, B type of bonds, 3 center 2 electron bond, and uh, it is 2 into 2, 4 electrons. So, totals are 44 electrons. And uh, so, in the bonding framework, there are 44 electrons. In the, uh, in case of the different types of bonding, there are 44 electrons. So, again we can say that, Electron tally with this, and therefore, according to the Lipscomb uh, topological structure, is uh, correct because number of electrons matches or tally with this, and the structures are shown here. How many uh, bonds are there? So, structure is shown here in this way the structure is obtained, and uh, for this case, the structure is shown here. Uh, this is the uh, uh, topological structure of decaboline 14. And this is the structure of B10 H14 icosahedral type of substituent. So this is one pentagonal uh, type, and this is another. Uh, these two rings join to with each other, and uh, in this way, topological structure of B4 H10 are shown in this case. And uh, uh, strike number can be calculated, and uh, this strike number is found to be uh, in, in this case 4620 and. Uh, this type number, that is value of ES, value of uh, T, value of Y, and uh, X. So, S is nothing but the structure is shown here. S is the uh, how many uh, boron, bridge boron uh, groups are there. So, in this case, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So, four, S is 4, boron, hydrogen bridge boron. So this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So S yes is 4. T is the boron, boron, boron type of bond. So 6 boron, boron bonds are there. So in this case 1, 2, 3, this 3 boron, 1. This is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5 and this is 6. So total 6 are there. And what is the boron, boron bond? So in this case, uh, there is a, this is one boron boron bond, this is second boron boron bond. So two are there. And BH2 in it, there is no any BH2 in it, uh, in this structure, so it is zero. So the strike number is 4620. And uh, uh, yes, T, Y, X is obtained on the basis of uh, structure, 4620. So uh, structure uh, shown by the topological structure by the Lipscomb. This topological structure of uh, Lipscomb is correct and the strike number is calculated is a 4620. And the first structure is the structure obtained on the basis of X-ray diffraction studies. And uh, in this case structure, uh, two octa uh, this pentagonal pyramid, pentagonal pyramids are shown and are joined together with each other. And the basal uh, carbon uh, borons are there. 
this is basal boron 7 this is 3 this is 8 so in this way the structure of this uh, uh, b10 h14 are suggested and again now here as per the electron tally the uh, topological structure of b10 h14 is correct and so uh, in this case uh, uh, in today's part we have seen what is uh, how to calculate the strike number in case of the uh, pentaborin 11 and the decaborin 14 so uh, these two are the important compound in case of higher borins and how to calculate the strike number and uh, what are the structures suggested on the basis of x-ray diffraction and what are the topological structure uh, uh, the, both these structures are uh, given in this uh, uh, presentation and also so these two important pentaborin 11 and decaborin 14 are important from the examination point of view so how to calculate strike number already we know what is strike what is s what is t what is y and x and uh, uh, on the basis, uh, after uh, looking to the structure of that compound we can know what are what is s how what is the number of s what is t what is y and x so strike number can be calculated for the suggested structure of the higher boron uh, uh, compounds